What's up, dude? I can't think of one vegetable that you can do more preparations with than potatoes. However, there is one potato dish that keeps me coming back time and time again, and especially during the holiday season, and that is bubbly, ooey, gooey, crispy, cheesy, dauphin potatoes. Oh, which is what we're gonna make right now, my friends. And as always, there is no time to waste. Now let's go. For dauphin potatoes, you could use russet potatoes or you could use Yukon gold potatoes. Both will be fine. I chose Yukon golds today. They just called my name, and so here we are. And with these smaller potatoes, I love to just stick a fork in it like so. Works also great if you're doing this with kids and just peel it down. Look at that. Mm, like a machine. Get the bottom. <laughs> fork out, remove, and get the top. Another way I like to peel is just like this. Try to get one long strand all the way around. This will give you an arguably a better shape. Although I will say, this is not as fast as the fork method. People make fun of me, but I will beat you in a race. I'm gonna see how fast I can do the fork version. Let's go. Oh! If I hadn't have dropped it, it would have been very fast. I'm gonna rinse it. I'm gonna rinse it. I'm doing my part in the world to tell people about the wonders of potato peels because everybody's throwing them away and they make the most incredible snack ever. I'll put a video in the corner right now if you wanna learn how to make those. Uh, they're absolutely delicious and I don't understand why people are throwing these things away all the time. One way to get really consistent slices while you're cooking is using a mandolin. However, not all of you have one. You don't need one. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna get one. You can use a knife, which I'll show you right now. And we just wanna make about quarter inch slices. If it gets unstable, you can even just take a little slice off like that so that it will sit nicely again and then just keep slicing. Although if you do want to use a mandolin, I'll make a few slices and then I'm getting the guard. I'm not crazy, I'm using the guard. The guard is here. And then we're gonna slice the rest with the guard. This is the size of thickness that we're going for. And after you slice these, definitely drop them into some cold water so they don't oxidize and turn brown while you work with the rest. To build these potatoes, we need to start with an aromatic, delicious, herby, herbaceous, I don't know if that's a word, cream. Using this as the base for Dauphinois potatoes is gonna make them extremely good. I'll start by halving these shallots and then just slicing them this way into little half moons. Just feed it into the machine. We'll do the same thing with about four cloves of garlic. Let's fire it up, my friend. We're setting this large pot over low to medium heat, and I'm just dropping in a couple tablespoons of cold unsalted butter. Once that butter has melted, we'll add in our shallots and our garlic. And what we're doing here is sweating the vegetables, meaning cooking them over low heat with no color, just until they get fragrant and turn a little bit translucent. Now, you don't need to use this in the recipe, but this is the famous homemade rosemary salt. You can absolutely just use regular kosher salt. If you wanna make this, just take rosemary stripped off the stem, sage leaves picked off the stem, garlic cloves, lemon zest, and salt, and you just blend it all up for one minute. I will We'll put a recipe for that down in the description. It's as simple as that. And I'm just adding this now to the shallots and the garlic, which have been sweating for about eight minutes. Give that a good mix in. At this point, we are adding a whole bunch of heavy cream. It's the holidays, my friends. This is no time for the faint of heart, unless you actually have a heart condition. Then you probably shouldn't make this, but this is good. Woo! So much cream. Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty. Yes, you badass. That's just black pepper. A little on the thicker side today, huh, Gilbert? And so what we're doing is infusing this cream with all the aromatic all the spices. This has been simmering now for about 10 minutes. We've done a full extraction of flavor from the garlic and the shallots. Now just kill the heat and we're gonna treat this cream kind of like a tea and let all these herbs steep in it. Starting with this rosemary, a couple sprigs, few sprigs of fresh thyme and a couple sprigs of sage as well. Make sure that's all submerged there under the cream. And all I'm gonna do now is pop a lid on this and let it sit for 10 minutes with that heat off. While your herbs are steeping, let me tell you about the king and the queen of cheese. King of cheese right here, Parmigiano Reggiano. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's Parmesan cheese. Make sure it's from Italy. You can tell because it has that branded edge on there that says Parmigiano Reggiano. It's expensive, so I buy it at that big box store that rhymes with, it's a box, yo, lost bro. Lost, bro. You lost, bro. Cross, it's a cross, Bo. You save a lot of money by doing that. And the queen of all cheeses, in my opinion, is Gruyere. It is just an excellent freaking cheese to eat room temp, to eat cold, to eat melted. It's awesome everywhere. Oh, God. God, God, the rind smells disgusting, but the cheese is <laughs> so good. And we're gonna take the biggest setting of a box grater and just grate up our cheese here. I'm doing a 60-40 mix of Gruyere to Parmesan. You're not gonna see Parmesan in a lot of Dauphinois potato recipes. Gruyere is the cheese you're supposed to use. I just happen to love Love Parmesan, so I'm adding some as well. Here's our Parmigiano. And that's it, just set that aside for now and happy days. 10 minutes has elapsed. Our little cream rosemary herb tea is done. All we're gonna do now is fish out these herbs. If you get some of the shallots and the garlic along with it, that's absolutely fine. Those have also done their job. Let's give this cream a little bit of a taste, see how it is. Oh, it's like holidays. It just tastes like the holidays. 
Oh, oh, not the penguins. Ah, penguin. Ah. I've just drained off the water from my potatoes, and now we're dropping them into the cream, which I have over just medium, medium high heat. And what we're gonna do is par cook the potatoes in this insanely delicious cream, and then put it together and bake it in the oven. The thing I love about potatoes is you can eat them from soft, like mashed potatoes, to crunchy, like french fries, or anything in between. They're the most versatile vegetable on the market. They really are. There we go, just make sure all your potatoes are submerged roughly under this cream. And we're gonna simmer them in here for about 10, 12 minutes. 12 minutes has elapsed and all I've been doing is just kind of tossing these potatoes around, mixing them around like this. Now, when you make Dauphinois potatoes, usually you're gonna see them baked in a big casserole dish. That is absolutely the way to do it if you want. However, today I thought it would be fun if I make these little individual ramekin type portions, but either way is absolutely fine. So let's lay all of these out. I know they're different sizes that I have two big ones, six kind of medium ones, that's all good. It's gonna get a little messy. Don't worry, that's all part of the process. Fire why people use a casserole dish. But we're gonna lay in half of our potatoes right now. So we're filling up only halfway to the top. Top. And if I have any leftover potatoes, I'll just make one big one with it, basically. Hot! Oh, they're hot. Oh, they're hot. Oh, they're hot. And in between layers, I'm just doing a little bit of this stripped thyme. This is just thyme picked off the stem, just for a little floral pop in the middle here. Oh. Also in the middle layer, we're doing some of our cheese for a nice little surprise halfway through your meal. Now we do the other half of the potatoes, and you want to stop right before the top. Does not need to be perfect. That one's a little full, but it'll be okay. It's the perfect amount of potatoes. Fill up eight of these ram or one casserole dish. All I did now was take my cream and put it in this large measuring glass. Just makes for easy pouring. And we're just gonna pour these with the cream until they're about an inch from the top. You do not wanna overfill them. That looks good. Oh, da, 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 da. The tasty train is leaving the station. It's not the holidays yet until you have some Dauphin Wasp potatoes. I changed my whole YouTube schedule so I could post this video on the 22nd, which is today, to give you guys a few days heads up so you can make this and be the savior of holiday side dishes. The hero, the champion. All we need to do now is top with more cheese and go heavy on this layer. Oh. All you need to do now is get these onto a sheet tray and into the oven they go at 375 degrees. All right, these little treasures have been baking for 25 minutes. And as you can see, they look pretty darn good, but there's one last thing I like to do to get that extra crunchy golden brown delicious top. Woo! And that's just to broil them for a couple minutes just to get that effect. So I just kicked my broiler on. I'm gonna wait for it to warm up. We'll put them in and then they should be looking real nice. Oh yeah, the broiling. Oh, oh, oh my God, the way that cream looks just poking out around the edges right here is just unbelievable, insane. Now, as much as you're gonna wanna eat these right away, you will burn the roof of your mouth. It'll be gone forever, it'll be obliterated. So let these cool down for at least 10, 15 minutes before you dig in. And here we go, coming in for a taste. I'm pretty excited. A little crispy, crunchy top. <laughs> As I'm pushing down, you can see how that cream is just pushing out. Oh! <laughs> These are still really hot, I gotta be careful. Oh, steaming hot. If that doesn't put a smile on your face, nothing will. You know, life is not for you. The flavors are unbelievable. <laughs> Marcus, you're gonna have to try these, my man. How did they? They're hot, dude. Don't do what you did last video. Careful, careful. Although you're good. Oh my God. Right? Dolphin frog potatoes are the best <laughs> ever. Crazy, right? Wow. It's just so good. That's the best potatoes I think I've ever had. Mmm, you heard it. You heard it. Mm, careful, careful, careful. That's gonna burn you. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't. do it. It's, that's, it. oh God, dude, that's really, he always loves, he loves burning his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I bet that hurts. Until next time, you know I love you in the mouth.